want to follow along. <laughs> All right. Sup friends, this is like the third time that I've sat down to record this video. I keep talking and rambling and I need to pinpoint my thoughts. I have a lot of thoughts on this topic and this topic is trans jealousy. So this is something that's come up a lot, especially at the beginning of my physical transition and it did still happen when I was pre-T. The jealousy and the envy and the comparisons have progressed at different stages of my transgender experience. So the transgender experience, when I say that, I'm talking about kind of just like, what's it like to grow up being transgender? What, what's it like to be on hormones? What's it like to get surgery? So social media has really expanded and it's really turned into something great at times and bad at times. There's positives and negatives to a lot of aspects of social media. So the top two that I'm gonna be talking about are YouTube and Instagram. The transgender experience has been documented a lot, a lot on the, these two platforms. You could look up anything you wanted about being transgender and you could find it. It's crazy how much people have documented. Like there's people that document their Gen their hormone therapy by the week. And you could look up what's it like to be seven weeks on T, seven weeks on T, whatever. And you could find so many videos of people talking about it. There is just so much that we as people can benchmark and we can set ourselves to compare to that person based on the week. Like there's not many scenarios where that happens. And I think that being trans, you have that opportunity for me. There's pros and cons. Having people per ha show their progression down to the weeks. Like, it's great. Like, I could look that up before I started testosterone and kind of have gain information and perspective. So that was crucial for me as a pre-transition trans man. I thank everybody that has documented their journey because it gave me something to look forward to and it gave me information that I wouldn't have, like first-hand advice that I wouldn't necessarily have unless it was for YouTube. And then for um, Instagram, you're showing like your pictures and you're showing probably like your voice progression and stuff. So there's a lot of opportunity for people to compare themselves to others and say, oh, they're passing more than I am. They look better than I do. They sound better than I do. Why don't I look like that at five weeks on T? Why don't I have a beard at six months when this person had it? I think that's a common theme in our community. For me, like the top two things that I really feel envious towards other people is a voice progression and top surgery results. A good example for me, when I was starting testosterone, I looked to Chella Man's YouTube and Instagram. I think that they have done a really great job on documenting their journey. They do a weekly voice progression and that was something that I really enjoyed watching before I started testosterone because I could listen to their progression and see it drop. So their voice dropped around week nine and that was something for me when I started testosterone. I was like, okay, like I just have to wait like nine weeks until this tea kicks in because that's what happened with Chella Man. And that was not the case at all. Chella Man and I are both two different people. We do not have the same body chemistry and our bodies are gonna react to testosterone or anything differently. And I don't know why I thought otherwise. So when I got to week nine and my voice was still squeaky, <laughs> it still is squeaky, even at 21, I was pretty mad about it. I was like, well, that's not fair. Why did this person have this happen to them and it didn't happen to me? Why aren't I deserving and why are they? And I'm sure that a lot of you have done this. I'm not the only one. I'm sure that there's a lot of people watching this that are like, oh yeah, I did that. It's not a great thing, but all humans are guilty of it. And it's something that a lot of people don't accept. It's a lot of, it's a thing that a lot of people don't talk about. So I wanted to talk about it. The way that I kind of cope with it now, like now that I, my voice is dropping and I've had top surgery and I'm pleased with my results, I don't feel like I compare myself to people as much. I still do it. I'm still definitely guilty of it. Um, but I feel like I don't compare my, phys my physicality to other people that much anymore. I'm enjoying the process and I'm coming into my own and I've separated myself from all these other people. I think I was just so used to saying, okay, like my journey is gonna be like Aiden Dowling and this journey is gonna be like Chella Man or whoever I found on social media. I was clinging on to them 
and living vicariously through them. Um, but now that I think that I'm like looking in the mirror and I'm liking who I, see, who I see, I don't need to live vicariously through other people anymore. I'm living through myself. Like I'm going through these experiences myself and I'm loving them and it's great. And I'm glad that I don't have the same experience as Aiden Dowling. I'm glad I don't have the same experience as Chella Man because it's Harrison Brown's journey. But I was very jealous. I was very envious and it made me feel like ugly inside. And it's an ugly, thing to go through and to feel like these negative things because it makes you just like, it just it makes you sit and wallow and feel sorry for yourself. So I think I just wanted to talk about that and say that like if you're feeling like that, it's not always gonna be like that and you just have to take life for the journey that it is and it's your journey. You don't have to compare yourself to other people. I think I just wanted to touch on this. I wanted to start the dialogue. So if you have any, if you have any questions or you feel like you wanna share something, put it in the comments and let's have a discussion. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you wanna follow along with my journey even more, feel free to subscribe. I post weekly videos. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you wanna follow me on my social medias, they're down below and I will. See you next time. Take care.